All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to do the successive approximation technique in step two of a sulfuric acid problem. I realize that I had done that earlier only with the uh, graphing calculator solver, so I thought I'd show you how to do that here um, separately in a separate video. At the end of our second step of the dissociation, an earlier problem with sulfuric acid, we ended up with an equation like this. Ka value for step two was 0 0.012, and that was equal to the hydronium concentration, which was 0.1 from the first step of the dissociation, plus x in the second step, multiplied by the sulfate concentration, which was x, divided by the concentration of HSO4 minus, which was 0.1 take away x. How do we solve this without the graphing calculator using the solver, the um, successive approximations approach? These, the approach is similar to what we did before. We'll start by saying, since the Ka is small, 0 .00, 0 0.012 is our Ka value, and it's not a large Ka. So since it's small, we will assume that x is much less than in this case, 0 0.10, since it's being added and subtracted from 0 0.10, we'll assume that x is much less than 0 0.10 molarity. Therefore, 0 0.10 plus x, if you take 0 0.10 and you add something very, 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 very small to it, you'll get approximately 0 0.10. And 0 0.10 take away x, the thing that's on our denominator up here, will also equal 0 0.10. So if you take something very small from 0.1, your answer will be still pretty close to 0.1. So taking those, that, that assumption and using it in the equation above, we can now say that 0.012 is approximately, instead of 0.1 plus x, we can just say 0.1 times the x that we didn't uh, change, divided by Instead of 0.1 minus x, we can just say 0.1. Now, when you look at that, you realize that's very easy to solve because the 0.1s cancel. And so we can say our first approximation in this case is equal to 0.012 molarity. And that was pretty easy. Now, how do you get the second approximation, x2? Well, the technique that we learned when using this method is to take the first answer we get and to go back into our original equation and place it wherever we ignored the x. When we did this before, that meant putting it only in the denominator, because there we had this 0.1 minus x. But here, notice we ignored x twice. So we have to go back and put it both in the denominator and in the numerator, in this spot in the numerator and in this spot in the denominator. So what we're going to end up with, and I don't normally write out the equation, but what we're going to solve is this equation, 0 0.012 equals 0 0.10 plus 0 0.012 times x over 0 0.10 minus 0 0.012. So we just took our first answer, 0 0.012, and put it in the bottom and top where we had ignored it before. We didn't do anything with the x before, so that still stays down here as an x. And that's the x we're going to solve for. So on my calculator, I'm going to just go this denominator, multiplied, <coughs> excuse me, multiplied by the Ka value, and then divided by the bracket on top. What will be left will be this x over here. So x2 is equal to, let's grab our calculator, so 0 0.012 times the stuff on the bottom here, so open a bracket, 0.1 take away 0.012, close the bracket, and divide by this other bracket on top. So divide by, open the bracket, 0.1 plus 0 0.012, close bracket. What's left is this x over here. So equals, and we get that x2 has changed a little bit. 0 0.0094 molarity. Well, we're going to go do a third approximation the same way. We're going to put 0 0.0094 into the original equation on the top and on the bottom. And this time, rather than write it out, I'll just do it on my calculator. So 0 0.012 Ka times 
have open a bracket. On the denominator, we'd have 0.1 take away our second answer, 0 0.0094. Close the bracket. Divided by the bracket on top. So 0.1 plus 0 0.0094. And be sure you're using brackets appropriately there. Equals. And I get 0 0.0099. So notice our answer is still changing, but it's, but it's narrowing in on something. So let's go do a fourth approximation. So now we'll take 0 0.012 times, open a bracket, 0 0.1 take away, our third answer, 0 0.0099, close the bracket, divided by the brackets on top, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.0099 close the bracket, equals. And now I'm going to stop because my answer has changed by 1 in the last decimal. 99 became 98. When it does that, when it changes by just 1, or if it stays the same, I'm going to stop. You know, if I did it a fifth time, I'm going to get this same answer. So let me just show you that. So I'm going to take 0 0.012 times the bracket on the bottom, 0.1 take away, my last answer, which is 0 0.0098, close the bracket, divided by the brackets on top, open a bracket, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.0098 equals, and we get 0 0.00985, which essentially is the same answer, 0 0.0099. So our answer, either one of those, is going to be acceptable. Now, that is the answer for x. If we want to now find the concentration of hydronium, that's actually 0.1 plus x, right? So we have to add 0 0.10, it's the hydronium from step one, to the x value that we just got. So 0 0.10 plus 0 0.0099 is 0 0.1099 or 0 0.11 molarity. So there is the um, same answer that we got in the using the solver with the calculator, but done using the method of approximations. And it was a little bit more involved because we had to place the x in two different places. Um, our first answer had to go back into two different places each time. Okay, so successive approximations, still a lot better than using the quadratic formula for most people.